For practice it self check 6.11, oops, 6 errors. We have the following program that contains 6 errors. We need to correct the errors and submit a working version of the program. Our output should look like this, and this is our input file. This first line in our class looks good, our main method looks good. The problem that I'm first seeing is our scanner right here. Now our method pass looks good. We have a method and inside of it we're passing this scanner in. However, we have our scanner in equals new scanner. That looks correct. But here is where we have an incorrect. We need a new file so that way it can be re it can read a file into the scanner. And since our program is reading in a new file we are going to have to write a throws file not found exception here because whenever we read in a file if the file isn't found instead of giving us an error it'll well it'll it will give us um, this error it'll it'll throw this exception but not an error it's an exception next we can look in our method and we are told this counts the total lines and words in our input scanner. We don't need a new scanner right here because we are already taking a scanner as a parameter. So we can get rid of this. And then we have our int variables. These look good. Now we look in our loops. So we have a while loop and we have input dot next line. This isn't correct. The correct coding or the correct syntax for this is input dot has next line and this basically is a boolean and it checks if there is a next line and if there is a next line we are going to be in our while loop and we are going to not have a string line because a string line isn't going to get all of our scanned objects we need to or our um, scanned strings so we need a scanner we can have it still called line and this is going to be equal to a new scanner and inside of our scanner parentheses we'll have input dot next line oops and inside of our scanner we'll have input dot and inside of our scanner we'll have input dot next line. After this we are going to have our line count plus plus. This way um, as long as input has another line we are going to get that line and store it in here. And the reason why we need to store this line in here is because we need to look at the tokens in our line which is next. We also need to um, increment our line count by one every single time this loop runs to keep track of our line count which we will print out. So inside our current line we are going to count our tokens which is this line or this um, while loop right here. And this is while line.next so while there is this next part here and then here and here discounting all of the white spaces we'll have string word is equal to line dot next. It's not going to be has next because that would be a boolean and we can't set a string to a boolean. So we'll do line dot next and this is a method so it needs parentheses and then word count plus plus to increment the word count every single time this loop runs and we have a token in that line. After we, um, well first we're going to have um, a, we're gonna we're gonna read in our line and then after that we are going to get the line we're going to increment our current um, line count so we can keep track of how many lines we have then we have a while loop which looks at all of the tokens or all of the strings ex excluding the white spaces in our current line and then it increments this when this is done it will start this loop over and go to the next line when there's no more lines it will have a print line where it um, prints these out. And so I submitted this and we have an error right here and that is because line.next is 
a string well it would have to be stored in a string and while loop we need a boolean here so we're going to do while line dot has next and this has next gets the next um, string excluding the white spaces and we have passed the test so this is the code that will give us this desired output.